Hello and welcome to the University Hospital of Wales, the biggest and the busiest hospital in Wales. There are 900 beds here and 8,000 NHS employees. And just a few metres away is the third largest accident and emergency department anywhere in the UK. Welcome back to the showground. Lots of excitement and, of course, noise, as you can probably tell, as the Pony Club Mounted Games take us into the final hour of the final day of the 50th anniversary show. But the question is, what about the next 50 years? Hello again from the Cardiff City Hall, where the annual Welsh Political Awards are about to begin. Yes, it's the night when we look back at what our AMs and MPs have got up to in 2013 and give credit where it's due. It's the first week of September and it's back to school. But an increasing number of Welsh youngsters are swapping the classroom for their front room as home education becomes ever more popular. My guide is National Trust Ranger and Gower expert, Catherine Thomas. Hi Catherine, how are you? Hi, Ruth, nice welcome to, meet to you. Gower. Oh, thank you. What a lovely day we've got for it. Well, it's not a bad place to work. What a stunning office you have. <laughs> Yes, I love it out here. We start our walk by heading along the valley towards Muslade Bay, a nice downhill section to start the walk off, before heading up onto the cliff tops. I'd just like to ask, if you are so behind devolution, why is it taking such a long time? Bearing in mind we're expecting an announcement way back in spring, and for a lot of people here in Wales, we are really hanging on what you have to say. Uh, we've made some big investments in Wales in terms of the electrification of the railway, all the way up to Swansea. We've been working very hard to try and bring the nuclear power station we to Wilver. We had Wilver. to push for Swansea, Those though, are, didn't we? Well, no. Absolutely, but the government, you know, a Labour government you had for 13 years, never did it. just come to lie on the beach. I've come to explore some of the hidden history of this incredible landscape and to meet a man who's on a mission to enthuse the next generation of young scientists. Martin, what's your ultimate aim here, your goal, your reason for doing all of this? Uh, well, the Darwin Centre is a charity. The whole mission really is to enthuse and engage young people. Uh, in all, all elements of science and engineering. Tyrone O'Sullivan, welcome this evening. I think your name, your face, almost synonymous with mining today, and yet here we are on such a momentous and an emotional day, isn't it? It's incredible for me, because uh, two of the pavings I can directly relate to. Let me push you on something else, if you don't mind. Health, clearly a devolved issue here in Wales. Now, you've been quite vocal mm -hmm. in your criticisms of the way we run our service here. Are we ready, really, do you think, then, to be a fully devolved nation? Well, I just think the Welsh Assembly Government, while I'm all for for devolution and powers. Well, earlier today I spoke to the Education Minister Leighton Andrews about the situation in Blaina Gwent, and I started by asking him whether the report made for an uncomfortable read. We've got two years' worth of children who are being failed by their schools and by your commissioners, the commissioners that have gone in. How much time do you think is a reasonable amount of time? Well, they're certainly not being failed by the commissioners. The commissioners have made a very significant difference. The education well, they services made that in Blaine, I went. They, the, the fact is, though, they haven't uh, made that difference, have they? They are still well, failing. Well, no, no, no. I've, I don't... Well, uh, Kareth Griffiths is the secretary of the Fire Brigades Union in Wales. Uh, welcome to the programme. Clearly, these are tough times for everybody. I suppose the question should be, why should firefighters be any different to any other public sector worker who has to retire at the age of 60? I think it's important to stress, first of all, that no firefighter wants to take strike action. Nicola Handy talking to uh, Tony Blair slash Michael Sheen. I can't shake <laughs> yeah, that. He's image. played with politicians <laughs> before. He plays it very well, doesn't he? Yes, yeah, so we move on quickly to the weather. We've had a few sharp showers today. We also saw the odd spot of sunshine as well. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, what about the days ahead? To tell us more, here's James Wright. On to sport now, and Cardiff manager Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has played down the effect of a statement from the club's chief executive that accused former boss Malky Mackay of careless management. Well, the ITV News continues now with Alistair Stewart and Natasha Kaplinsky. And you'll find plenty more from James and, of course, the rest of the day's news and sport on our website. The address, as ever, itv.com slash Wales. Andrew will be back bright and early with our next update in Daybreak. But for now, from all of us on the late team, a very good night to you. Bye-bye.